Welcome to Hudson's House of Play. I am Miss Lynn and you are joining me here for our craft tutorial today. Our lesson this week was under the sea and today we talked about fish. So for today's craft we are making our very own aquarium. First things first, let's go over the items that we need for our craft. We will be using paper plates. You can use one, but today I'll suggest that you have two. If you don't have two, that's okay. You can just use one. And then as always, we need our coloring tools. So maybe you're using markers today, or maybe you have some paint. You can always use crayons and colored pencils as well. It's your choice, you are the artist. And some other common tools that we'll need. Our tape, some scissors, maybe you'll be using glue, or maybe you're gonna choose to use a stapler today. I'll tell you a few different options each time we come across multiple uses and tools. I also have some cornmeal today, and I also have some Rice Krispies. You can also use plain rice, dried grains of rice, or pasta noodles, or pasta shells, or you can even use real sand, and I'll tell you um, what we're gonna be using it for. So let's start with our first step. Oh, we also need one other uh, item here. It's optional, but I think it would really add to your aquarium. It's our plastic wrap. And if you have any other decoratives, we will be making our aquarium today. You can add stickers, which is what Miss Lynn has, some colorful fish stickers. And you can use seashells. Maybe you have a collection of small seashells that you want to add to your aquarium. Now let's get started. We are going to grab our plate. Now this plate will be the cover of our aquarium. So I'll show you what we're going to do with this plate first, and then we'll set it aside to dry. So first things first, we wanna cut a hole out of the center. And I've shown you before how to do that. And simply what you'll do is fold your plate in half, grab your scissors, and then you're just gonna cut on the line that's already there, the indentation that's already there. So you can follow along with this Lynn. I'm just cutting this little semicircle all the way around. And just take your time being careful when you use your scissors. Always have a grown up help you if you are new to using scissors. Now that we have our plate, we can get rid of this extra piece or you can use this, save this for maybe decorating or creating a fish out of. Now what we wanna do with this piece is cover it with a piece of plastic wrap. So that's where this comes in. Miss Lynn will grab the plastic wrap. We'll take a nice big piece here. And let's cut it out. And like I said, this is optional. If you don't have the plastic wrap, that's totally fine. And we're going to want to cover our paper plate with the plastic wrap. And this is gonna create a screen that almost looks like a piece of glass on your aquarium. So make sure your plastic wrap is large enough to fit your paper plate directly on top. So my plastic wrap is nice and big. And I'm just going to fold the edges over and tape them. You can use glue here, but whenever you use glue, you wanna be uh, mindful that it will take some time to dry, so we'll have to be a little more patient with that. And I'll show you what our finished product will look like. So I'm just folding in the plastic here, curling it under and taping it. You wanna try to avoid overlapping the plastic wrap. So as you can see, I'm just Simply adding our plastic wrap, little by little, taping it down onto the paper plate. I have a few more pieces of tape I'd like to add, and then we can put this aside as a final touch. And if you're using glue, like I said, we're doing this first so that 
you have the opportunity to let it dry before adding it to our project. Now let's see, just a few more pieces. And we should, last one, we should be done. Okay, now check it out. You have a screen or a glass for your aquarium. Now that that's complete, let's put this aside and let's grab our second plate. For our second plate, and I'll just give you a quick sneak peek. This piece will go on top and will connect the plates together and then you'll have your aquarium. So let's start with our background. We want some water. So in the back, Miss Lynn is gonna use some blue. Either you can use your markers or you can paint. I also have blue tissue paper. If you don't feel like painting or coloring, you can always use some tissue paper and line the back. I think I am going to go with some markers. I love using my markers and I have a few different shades of blue here. So I'll show you a few of the different blues that I have. Here we go. Ooh, these are all really nice. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like this lighter blue. And you just wanna color the center part blue. Take your time to color it in. You can add waves if you'd like. Using nice big strokes, coloring it all in. And of course, you can use other colors if you'd like. Sometimes there are areas in the ocean that are dark blue and sometimes in the tropical waters, you can find it's almost greenish blue. So it's really up to you, however you envision your ocean or your aquarium, you can choose the blue that goes with that vision. All right, I have a nice layer of blue here and I'll show you what it looks like. See, ta-da! Okay, what's next? I'm going to add some sand. Well, this is actually cornmeal, but it looks a lot like sand. So if you have sand, perfect, you can use that. If you don't have cornmeal or sand, you can even use Rice Krispie Treats. They look like sand too. So your choice, whatever you feel like doing, it's up to you. This land is gonna use the cornmeal because it looks a lot like sand to me. And I love to eat my Rice Krispies, so I don't wanna use it in my project. All right, I'm taking my glue, and I'm just gonna add a small layer of glue at the bottom, because our sand is just settling at the bottom for our aquarium. And I'll show you what that's going to look like. And you can use a glue stick as well. You don't have to use this kind of glue. It's up to you what you whatever you have in your house. Okay, and I am using a generous amount of glue here. But if you don't want to use too much sand at the bottom and you envision less sand in your aquarium, then you can modify it. There's the glue laid down at the base there and Miss Len is going to open up her cornmeal. Be very careful with the cornmeal because it can get very messy. And I'm just gonna shake it onto my glue. And I'll shake it around a little bit to get it all worked in. If you have any extra bit of glue or any extra bit of cornmeal, just wipe it off or dump it into a garbage. I'll do that right here, dump it out. And let me show you what the sand looks like, or the cornmeal. Ta-da! All right, next step. We need to add some greenery. Maybe you're using a green feather, or maybe you have some pipe cleaners. You can use pipe cleaners as well. You can always just draw in your seaweed or your plant life. And today, Miss Lynn is going to be using her green tissue paper, and I'll show you how I do that. You know, another great idea, you could even use some greenery from outside. Maybe you have some grass clippings, or maybe you have 
uh, some weeds that you can pull up. You can even add that to your art project. So I've just peeled a few pieces of tissue paper up and I'm simply going to roll it in my hands and make sort of a leaf shape just like in the ocean. I'm just rolling it up. You can style it however you want. That is going to be my seaweed or my kelp. Where did I put my glue? Ah, here it is. Let's add this to our aquarium. I'm just putting a little bit of glue down, just like so. And I will add my green on there. So I've got one piece on and I think I'll add the next one on a little right next to it. Yeah, why not? I want to save some room for my fishies too. So there is my um, glue and I'm sticking it on. And don't forget, the glue needs to dry. So be patient with it. Now let's see what it looks like so far. All right, team, check it out. Yes, that is my seaweed, my plant life for my aquarium. Now is the fun part. I'm going to add my fish stickers. Now you can use that extra piece of, of the plate to draw a fish and maybe cut it out. Or you can use some stickers like Miss Lynn's or you can even paint in some pasta shells and be creative with the bow tie pasta. You can make some fun shaped uh, fishies there. Now let's see, also you can just draw them right onto your plate if you'd like. I am going to, I'm gonna do one fishy just on our extra piece of paper here so I can use it up and I'm gonna show you what kind of fishy I'm gonna make. It'll be nice and easy and you can follow along. Miss Lynn is going to make one of those clown fish like in Finding Nemo. I am going to draw first an oval. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to add a triangle for the tail and a triangle for the fin. Let's add some eyes and a mouth. Here we go nice and simple. And then you can decorate this fishy by adding some different colors and stripes. So our clownfish is, I believe, orange and white. So Miss Lynn is going to add, first I'm going to draw my stripes with the black marker. And then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm coloring in my fish orange and then we'll cut it out all right let's see what do you guys think how does that look yeah that is a cute little guy so let's cut him out and then we'll add it to our aquarium And you just take your time when you're cutting. Go nice and slow. You're working on your motor skills here, so you wanna keep practicing and you'll get better each time. And remember, always be patient with yourself. All right, this one is going very slow. And then I'm gonna cut this final piece out and I'll have it ready to attach to my aquarium. All right, look at this little fishy. I'm gonna add that right onto my picture here. I'm going to use a little bit of tape. I can use glue too, but I think this time I'm gonna use some tape. Tape works just as well. All right. Put that one right there. I can't wait to show you what this looks like. Check it out. Doesn't that look so cute? All right, I am gonna dig into some of my cool fishy stickers because I really wanna show you all the different kinds I have here. All right, I've got a pretty one over here. I'm gonna add them 
along with my clownfish here, and you'll get to check out my final product. It is so cute. And I even have some starfish on here, so I'll put those little guys on, as well as some seashells. What else do I have over here? Oh, these are cute. I'll go with one of these. These are cute ones. And, oh, it's so hard to choose. There's so many good ones here. All right. I think I'm almost done. I just have one last thing to add. I'm gonna add a few little bubbles. Let me show you what it looks like so far. And I'm gonna add a few little bubbles coming out of my fishy. I'm simply making these little circles directly above my fish and you'll see what I mean. All right, look at that. Yeah, I did little bubbles there and the seashells. Okay, the last step, the most fun of all, we're gonna attach our screen, yeah. I'm gonna stick it right on top like this. And you can tape or your edges or Miss Lynn is gonna use her stapler today just so that it's nice and quick and I can show you my finished product. All right. Next one. I'm just gonna do a few staples around the edges here. Okay, look at this. Our final aquarium is finished. Now, how do you like that? Isn't that cute? And you can decorate the outside as well if you wanna add some waves. I think that's what Miss Lynn is going to do. You can add some waves onto your, right onto the edge of your uh, paper plate. And Miss Lynn put the wrapping on the outside just because it's a little easier to do that way. But if you want, you can always put the foil, oh, no, I'm sorry, not the foil, the plastic wrap through the inside. And that way you won't have it showing all around the plate. Okay, let me show you my little design that I just added. Just a few waves there on the outside. What do you think? I thought this was a really fun one. I can't wait to see how yours comes out. Remember, if you wanna send in your homework and have it spotlighted in the beginning, <clears throat> in the beginning of class, you can just send it to Lynn at Hudson's House of Play.com. I really love this little aquarium, it's so cute. Until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. I'll see you again from your place to my place, from your room to the classroom. Goodbye to all my friends. I'll see you again. Bye. Mwah.